there were a lot of people who said, God kept you here to help others. But I don't know why he kept me here. I can't tell you. I ain't talked to him. He ain't talked to me. My name is Richard Arvin Overton. I am a hundred and nine years old. Still walk, I still talk, and I still drive. I just got my license renewed this year. They give me an eye test. Everything they give me now, I pass it. I feel good going on driving. I like to drive myself because the other drivers, they drive crazy. <laughs> I am the oldest War II veteran. I went in the Army at 1940. Made you more braver, stronger. I can see that every door was open here with a lock on it. Ain't scared. <laughs> no, ain't nothing gonna bother you. You see a soldier with a gun, you don't see him turn around and go back this way. He may go sideways, but he ain't gonna turn around and go back. Uh-uh. Okay, -uh. how hot them bullets is, he ain't gonna go back. So yeah, when you go in there, you just say, well, God got me now. See? He gonna take care of you. If, you want, if it's your time to go, that bullet gonna get you. If it ain't your time to go, that bullet going over your head, it ain't going to hit you. So man will kill you, but God's the one to keep you alive. It wasn't, it wasn't good, but we had to go. I built me a house in Ashton 45. That's where I've been ever since. It's a nice place to live. Yeah, I'm happy with my house. That's all I need. I'd buy one thing. I would use that one thing. I wouldn't buy one thing, go buy another, go buy another. Yeah, I got a truck out there and it runs just like I want it. So I just keep it. But I don't fool with a credit card, never. Everything I get, I pay cash for it. I got 50 cents a day. That's way back young. But I lived out of that. Because everything was nickel and dime, three cents. I remember when the man got the first forward, I was out after waking it up. I think I picked cotton down in. And we heard that he going to get a car. We didn't know what a car was. We heard about it, but we never was to come to town much. My first car was a little old Ford, t ball Ford. I had to get in front and crank it. You remember them cars? I know you wasn't born that way. No, I know you wasn't. I 
I just sit there and smoke sometimes 12 cigars a day, maybe sometime more than that. And everybody said, what you smoke them for? I just, I guess it makes you feel better. But you, you can't inhale. Just to go ahead and just scroll the cat and let her go and forget about swatting. There's swatting no taste to it. Just makes you call. I'm going to hell to wait. Every time I get up in the morning, that cat's sitting there waiting. And I either I go to bed, sometimes they're sitting up there waiting because they want to get to supper. And then they want to go to bed. But you don't feed a cat too much because he won't eat a rat. I help those cats and they keep me happy. I tell, I tell the truth, they keep me happy. I want to see my cats every morning. I wake up at 1 o'clock, I either wake up at 2 or 3. Anytime I wake up, I just get up. I get me a cup of coffee sometimes. I drink about four cups of coffee in the morning. This morning, I drink about that much whiskey. I love milk and fish, corn, and soup. I love soup. A lot of people don't like soup. And don't drink milk. But I've been drinking milk for oh, practically all my life. And ice cream, I eat ice cream every night. It makes me happy. I eat but butter pecan. If you buy one of buying it, you buy butter pecan. It is the olden diet. It's anybody's diet that want to eat it. Church is a wonderful place. Lovely place. Keeps me going. Makes me feel good. I think that helps me push myself along going to church. You learn something at church too. You learn how to live better, how to treat people. We don't have all the answers. Got to save some of the answers for somebody else to do. <laughs> and singing, I love that church singing. Beautiful. Church is just for everybody. But you gotta go for one person, that's yourself. Good to have a spiritual life, but you got to live it. Make, it makes you feel better to have a person around you like this girl. We get along real nice. Well, oh, she's 91 years old, you know, I'll be, I'm 109. <laughs> Yeah, we go to the hospital to see people. We go to the grocery store. And we go shopping sometime, and I, I take you to church and and take a different place. She's just a nice person. Yep, we have fun together. I've seen lots and lots of living. I'm still living good, ain't suffering nothing. 
I guess what I want. So I still live it all right. Give up, you're through. You, you, you just down yourself. I am. I'm giving you some of my secret to a long life. That if you ever use it, if you don't use it, that's your bad luck. My time ain't got here yet. And I don't know when I'll come here. I don't know where I'm going. You either. Neither one of us know where we're going. I may give out, but I never give up. Thank you.